Hello and welcome to another episode of Thoughtful Leaders and today we have Dr. Samir Sharma who is the director at People's University Bhopal so welcome to college dunia sir thank you uh, so we would like you to give a brief introduction about yourself uh, well i am dr samir sharma uh, professor and director of the people's institute of management and research people's university i am also the dean of the faculty of management and hotel management I have about uh, 32 years of experience, including 14 years of corporate experience with various companies uh, like uh, Tata Electronics, Colgate Palmolive, Bajaj Tempo, Muller and Phipps. And uh, since 2002, I am in education. I completed my PhD in uh, 2007, and uh, I worked with uh, uh, companies. Uh, I mean, I worked with universities. like amit university modi university and uh, barkatullah university and now i am with people's university since 2009 uh, i have done my btech electronics and communication engineering mba in marketing and phd in management i have also cleared the ugc net examination uh, well with uh, people's university i have been for last 11 plus years and i have uh, uh, been instrumental in uh, the formation of the university in the university was formed in 2011 while i i joined in 2009 and uh, i was part of the first ordinances uh, that were made i was also part of the first ugc inspection then we also had a nac inspection and uh, i was part of that team uh, in terms of uh, courses we have started new courses after formation of the university i have started two pg programs and three ug programs in the university we have a very co- very successful course on mba hospital administration running in the university we also have a very uh, job oriented job guaranteed uh, mba in logistics and supply chain management which is in collaboration with a company called safe educate which is a division education division of the logistics company safe express and in this program uh, the students are guaranteed a job in their uh, second year itself in the sense they go on on the job training and at the end of the training they are uh, offered a very good package so this is a, a new program that we have started mba hospital administration is another program which has now been successfully running for about 5 uh, years and uh, all the students that have passed out have been placed in fact without any campus placement because they got uh, the jobs job offers during their training itself our regular uh, mba dual specialization program which is our flagship program aict approved that is uh, it, we have uh, we are offering now 11 specializations students can choose any two out of uh, the 11 specializations again another successful program where we have 100% placement to date and uh, almost all students Who want the job are getting a job, so uh, I think I have had a very uh, nice and satisfying career with People's University, designing all these courses, running them, and leading a team of dedicated faculty members. Uh, so, being the director at People Institute of Management, uh, what is your leadership style, and how would you uh, describe the leadership philosophy? uh well i would say that i am uh, more of a democratic participative type of leader with a hands down approach i get involved into everything in the institute um uh, as it is as per policy no letter goes out of the institute without my signature but that is not only in letter i also make it in spirit in the sense i am involved in every activity in the institute so uh, it's nothing like a leader it's more like a team member i have a very open door policy the faculty members need not knock before entering my cabin they are welcome and they are, they are not, don't even ask uh, for uh, sitting down they are welcome to sit down in front of me and discuss and so is the case for all students the students just have to inform that they want to meet me and it is an open door policy i make it a point to listen to all stakeholders mm-hmm. take their views and uh, uh, try to solve their problems in fact uh, my motto from a uh, long time has been to that we are i am here to spread smiles uh, among all students all stu- uh, stakeholders rather 
the parents also should be happy the teachers should be happy management should be happy and the students should definitely be very happy uh, so being the director at people institute of management what are your roles and responsibilities towards the institute uh well uh, 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 my my main role is in terms of leading the team of the faculty members uh, you know i have to uh, keep the flag of the university flying high for that i have to do everything to see that we make our name in uh, the market in the hearts of the students and uh, i i see my role basically as a you know as a coordinator between the university and the institute and uh, i am the one who will take all the uh, uh, big bats and the bouquet will bouquets will be you know reserved for the faculty members so that that is one key role i uh, take it in terms of uh, role towards the students i uh, see to it that i present myself as a role model to the students i try to inspire them uh, by you know interacting with them time and again and uh, seeing that they don't have any problems and uh, they they are always happy uh, so you have held a key positions at education institutes throughout your entire professional career so what are the factors that keep you connected to the education sector uh see uh one thing is that education today is very important in nation building i believe that uh, this is the this is the resource the human resource is the most important resource and here this is where we uh, the role of our, te- our teachers come in and uh, we are the nation builders in a way i consider myself in a way equal to the uh, army man fighting on the front because although he is protecting the country i am creating something i am making the future resource of the country so that way i think my role is very important for uh, nation building and so is uh, the role of all teachers then uh, i try to see that uh, uh, you know all our stakeholders are happy and for that by that i get a uh, immense satisfaction i uh, learn a lot keep learning all the time and i feel that uh, this uh, gives me an opportunity to contribute to society uh, what do you like people to know about people's university that they might not know well you know people's uh, group had the very first private medical and dental college in the city in probably in the state and so to date it is known for its medical and dental colleges and uh, it's quite famous in that and unfortunately uh, management institute is not well known so uh, i would like to tell everyone that we have a very uh, high class high quality management institute in the people's university where we have uh, a very uh, you know professional and uh, job oriented programs so this is something uh, many people even in the group itself are not aware of i would like people to know that people's institute of management is equally as good as the medical college or the dental college of people's university uh, what are some of the greatest strengths of people's university uh for one it is one of the best universities in uh, madhya pradesh in central india i would say it is uh, Uh, i think one of the two or three uh, universities private universities that is accredited by nac and it has a very good image in the society very good brand name and uh, i think these are the main strengths of the university which we can leverage on okay uh, so what are some of the biggest challenges you see uh, for higher education and for people's university in general well uh, the biggest challenge for higher education has been brought uh, upon by this uh, covid-19 pandemic wherein the all the systems have turned upside down we have not seen students for the last few months it's all online and i think the biggest challenge is to gear up for this online system of education uh, this this is also the challenge for people's university in terms of implementing the infrastructure 
training the teachers for online uh, sessions we are having online sessions but you know to make them as interesting as the physical sessions is a definitely a challenge we really don't know whether students are uh, getting engaged by the online classes or not i think systems have to be developed for that further evaluation systems need to go uh, undergo a big change uh, we have uh, you know somehow we have conducted the open book exam system for the final year uh, uh, batches which are going out but i am not very happy with it it, it, it was only a you know um, last minute uh, uh, hack i would say but we need to develop better systems i would say in in a way for the education as a whole and of course people's university in particular we need a total revamp of the curriculum we need to make our curriculum more digitally oriented more computer oriented more online oriented not we need to connect this with the students in an online mode in such a way that they are interested they and their interest is uh, you know kept for a longer time so i think this is a very big challenge and we are still grappling with it uh, sir Probably any, everyone uh, sir any message and suggestion you want to give to current youth and aspiring students yeah i i would say that uh, the most important message is we are in a in an era of uh, uh, digital uh, revolution we are you know constantly hooked to the mobile but then it should not be misused it has to be properly used and uh, today's youth i feel that they are not really coming out they are you know getting hooked to the internet hooked to the mobile but not for the right purposes not effectively so uh, here is uh, uh, the important message that you need to you know shake out of that realize that now online education online classes uh, digital learning is the way forward and take it in that way don't take it as a you know uh, time pass or you know make do kind of thing it needs to be taken seriously plus today students are more of i would say uh, uh, you know they are getting lazier because of the work from home culture or stay at home culture people are not getting enough physical exercise and uh, i think students need to take care of that aspect also because otherwise if it is neglected today it will create a big problem tomorrow in terms of health issues so they should not neglect their health they should uh, be up and about and uh, while being digitally connected they should also be physically active uh, thank you so much sir for taking out time and sharing your views on education with us thank you